Hey, welcome to Dawn. My name is Dan. This space, Dawn, is a time of reflection, of contemplation. Imagine that stillness of the early morning where things are still and quiet before the light bursts onto the scene and it's as things are slowly getting going. It's this moment for you to come to God, to reflect, to take this moment of stillness and quiet, to just really understand what God is saying to us and to be encouraged. So I want you to imagine that one time you maybe have done this in your own life, but I want you to imagine that you spent a long time climbing up a mountain. I know any time I've you know gone up a mountain or gone hiking or something, it's taken ages to get to a place and it's it's tiring and you finally get to this this like vantage point, this perspective where you can look across the horizon and at one time springs to mind where it was kind of dusk, it was an evening time, the sun was going down and we could just see for miles and this beautiful, beautiful sunset and scenery. And, and it was like a really serene moment. And now I want you to imagine you've seen this thing, you've experienced this amazing, amazing moment. And then you go back and you begin to tell a friend, oh, the sun was incredible. Like, oh, you, I want to, you know, you start expressing yourself at the colors and, you know, how far you could see. And I want you to imagine you're trying your best to just describe this beautiful moment. In those moments, sometimes it can be so easy, isn't it, to go, if only you were there. Like sometimes we experience this amazing thing and then we just say to them, if only you were there to actually experience it for yourself. Because there's something about being present in a moment and experiencing something rather than just simply getting that secondhand information. It's like you would rather that other person experience that incredible sunset, that incredible view, rather than just you telling them about it. It brought back a, a moment. And me and a couple of friends, we were down, uh, we were over in Northern Ireland. We went up to the North Coast and the water was really, really, really cold on the North Coast of Northern Ireland. And a few of us, we were jumping off the rocks and there was a fun moment where one of us was uh, was up on a rock and the other one had jumped in and, and shouted, it's freezing, like the water was breathtakingly cold. And uh, the, the other person up on the side being like, oh, I, I don't want, I don't know, I don't know if I want to jump in. And, and only, um, it's only when you actually throw yourself off that edge do you understand just how cold the water was. It's just that same. You can't just take that secondhand information. You had to experience it for yourself. Now, I wonder whether... I don't know what your story is with faith. I don't know what your story is with Jesus, whether, you know, Jesus is someone that you follow and Jesus is someone who you believe in and you have a relationship with God in that sense. Or maybe your faith is just like that story, just like that picture where it's been like secondhand information for you. You know a lot about God. You know a lot about who he is and you kind of know some of his ways, but you have never really met God for yourself. It's like your faith is based on this secondhand information information. It's like you're taking someone else's word for this relationship with God. And maybe you're in a place right now where you're just like, it's feeling a little bit like, ah, I kind of want to experience it for myself. Well, I just want us to reflect real quick on Psalm 34 verse 8. And the psalmist is right and he's telling a little bit of his own story. And then he says this in uh, Psalm 34 verse 8, he says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. The psalmist is saying this, look, I could tell you about God, but I want to encourage you, taste and see. In other words, what he's saying is experience him for yourself. Experience God for yourself. He's using this language, taste and see. In other words, like sample it, try it for yourself. You know, it's got to be tactile. It's got to be something that's genuinely experienced. And you might this morning be like, or whenever you're watching this, just be like, how, how do I, how, what's that tangibility for me? Well, in the Bible, it talks about faith is the way in which we connect to God. Just as we can feel things and taste things and see things with our senses, the way we encounter God, the senses of the way that we encounter God is through faith. Faith is like that sense that allows um, the Holy Spirit, that allows Jesus, allows God the Father to be tangible to you and to me. The psalmist is saying, taste and see. And he's not just saying, hey, sample it a little bit. 
just, just dip your toe in the water and see what it's like. Just like when me and my friends were in the north coast of Northern Ireland, it was throw yourself in and experience it for yourself. Taste and see that the Lord is good. I don't know what your view of God is like this morning. I don't know what your whole view of Christianity or faith is like. But my encouragement to you is this. You might have a view of God as this mean, judgmental, far removed God. And I, I don't want anything to do with that. Well, we're going to go into a time of reflection right now. And we're going to sing a song called The Goodness of God. All about how God has been faithful to us. How He never changes. How He's always good. And I don't know what your view of God is like. But I want to encourage you this. The Bible tells us that God is good. The psalm says, taste and see that the Lord is good. And today, as we, as we spend this time reflecting, maybe just try and push some of those preconceived ideas just to the side for a moment. Maybe try and suspend that secondhand information that you've been given. And in this time, lean in and it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Allow God to show himself to you. So in this time of reflection, I want you to reflect on two things. The first thing is this, are there any preconceived ideas I have of God that I may be holding me back? Or are there any secondhand pieces of information, things I've heard or, or things that I might just have in the back of my head that are stopping me from connecting to God? And the second thing I want you to reflect on is the goodness of God. Allow the Holy Spirit to remind you of times in your life where God has always been faithful. Where God has always protected you. My encouragement to you today is this. Taste and see. Throw yourself in to those waters of God's goodness. Give 
Of the goodness of God. 